Hey everybody, this is Evan from the Whatever Bros, and today I'm going to be taking a look at, and I guess kind of reviewing, the Alcatel Volta. It is a uh, 2021 budget phone, uh, smartphone, and before I go on any further, I just want to let you know that there's like going to be chapters in this video. So if you want to skip to a specific chapter, like the camera test or whatever, then go ahead. But uh, with without further ado, let's get started. And first off, we're going to go with the specs. It has a, its main display is a IPS TFT uh, display, 60 hertz, 480 by 960 pixels, which is amazing. The processor is a MediaTek MT6739, uh, 1.5 gigahertz, and number of cores is 4. Internal memory is 16 gigabytes, RAM is 2 gigabytes. The battery is a lithium ion 3000 milliamps. Camera, uh, the uh, rear camera is 5 pixels, and the front camera is also 5 pixels. And it does take expandable storage. Uh, up to 128 gigabytes. It runs Android 10 Go. It weighs 168 grams, so it's actually not not that heavy. Um, its GPU is a Power VR GE 8100, clocked at a hundred, sorry, 570 megahertz. So what does this all mean? It means that it is. An extremely budget smartphone. I got this for, I believe, $30 at my local Walmart. So, obviously, it's not going to be blowing oh, blowing anyone away. So, uh, that's the specs. Specs it out of the way. I already have the the phone out. And what what's funny is that this $30 phone comes with a charging brick funnily enough so let's get this out of the way uh let me move this down a little bit all right there we go so what's what's also funny is that this phone comes with face id or like face unlock which is hilarious so let me go and test it Bam. Look at that. I didn't swipe up. Let's try it again. Bam. It's, it, it's actually not that slow. It's like a little bit slow, but I figured it would be absolute trash. And I have glasses on, so uh, it's I, I'm surprised it actually works. Uh, But, yeah, it's... It, <sighs> From my experience of using it, it's obviously not fast. It's a $30 budget phone, but it's uh, it's actually not horrible. I've seen a lot worse. Let's, uh, why does it, so, sometimes it just does that, but uh, it doesn't come with a lot of bloatware. So I installed Candy Crush, Flow Free, Temple Run, and Hill Climb. Everything else it came with the phone. So I'm surprised there isn't a lot <clears throat> of um uh, of bloatware, which I'm surprised. And as I said, it's running Android 10, uh, Go Edition. I believe it's like I tried updating this and it won't update that's the thing that's annoying about these budget phones is that they send it out and then just forget about it all right take a look at that google play uh protect it, it is uh updated but the security update is july 5th of 2021 uh and the google play system update is actually up to date but I believe this does it. This still has Android 10. Yeah, Android 10 version. Oops. 
yeah, Andrew Chen. So, it's obviously not updated, which is kind of annoying when they do that. They make these budget phones, they just fucking put it out there and then just forget about it. They don't update it at all. Next, I'm going to go and put up some photos and videos uh, so you can go and see uh, how they look. They're actually not that bad. I I've seen a lot worse. Hey everybody, I am recording on the Alcatel Volta. It's uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second. And it's actually, it's okay. It's actually not horrible. Could be worse. There's, it's one of my kitties. And uh, there's actually zoom on here. <clears throat> Here's two times. And then here is four times. It looks amazing, all of those two pixels. But it's actually not that bad, to be honest. So for uh, features with this phone, it's uh, it's Android 10 Go edition. There isn't like a lot of stuff to talk about. You have network. You can have Wi-Fi. Uh, cellular i don't have this activated you it has bluetooth apps notifications change or the brightness on this is is pretty bad to be honest i'm not sure exactly the knitage on it on it but uh it's not that good um but yeah it it's just standard Android 10, uh, of course, like, half of it is used already, that's, that's what happens with, like, 16 gigabyte phones, uh, yeah, it comes with screen lock, or face unlock, a pin, that sort of stuff, you can log into Google, has some accessibility options, Location, digital well be well being. Uh has a smart manager so you can go and check your battery, notifications. Says six hours left, so it's uh, battery isn't the greatest. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it of the, f of the features. It comes with your standard Google apps. Of course, it comes with Facebook pre-installed, of course. But, um, it, it's, it's, it's a $30 budget phone. What do you expect? Of course, it's not going to be amazing. And, uh, now I want to go and test the games real quick to see if it's actually okay. I'm obviously not going to be running like Genshin Impact or Need for Speed or what, whatever whatever the fuck those are called. Uh, that's not going to work. But what I want to see is if it'll run Flow Free. If you don't know what Flow Free is, it's like a like a line kind of game or whatever. You just go and connect lines. I want to see if it can actually run this. It takes like nothing uh let's just go with six by six mania it's oh crap um it's oh it runs at least It it runs. All right, let's uh, let's go and look at uh, let's let's do Temple Run next. I I haven't tested this out myself, so I wouldn't know. It 
and if you don't know temple run this is like a yeah like a 10 year app or game oh look at that oh it's chugging it's chugging bad oh boy 500 coins I swiped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I swiped. Okay. Uh, game definitely isn't running the best. There we go. Oh yeah, it's it's chugging bad. It's chugging bad. Oh yeah. Just just to let you know, this is like a, a ten year old game. So if if a phone or whatever cannot run this ten year old game, then you know it's not that good. Oh yeah, I haven't played this game in years. Oh yeah, uh, I'm just going to not go and play that anymore. It it runs. There's just some lag spikes. Uh, let's go and try hill climb next. This is also a uh, an older game, so it should be really optimized. And it's, as you can hear, the speaker has once, I think, two speakers. Nah, it's just one speaker. Oh, and it takes micro USB, of, of course. But, wow, it is taking forever to load. Uh, yeah, sure, steal all my data, yes. I agree. Um, let's just go and play. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't played this game in a long time as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah. They added diamonds in this? Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Back up. Oh, shit. It, it runs. Driver down. No, thank you. Yeah, it... It runs. Uh, there really isn't any... Anything. But yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, it uh it runs. It runs. And uh let's go and try I guess Candy Crush because I don't know, fucking everybody plays Candy Crush. And it's uh slowly loading. The, uh, the display is, like, alright, honestly. But, uh, who, who knows? I, I have fucking glasses, so I'm blind anyways. But, uh, it's, it's okay. Let's go and play. This, this phone is getting, uh, quite warm. Oh boy, Candy Crush. Okay, it, I I don't want to play Candy Crush anymore. Uh, but it looks like it runs, uh, just a little slow getting into these apps. Let's go and clear everything. But uh, yeah, that's I I think that's 
pretty much it. Uh, one cool thing is uh, you can actually open, take the back off. Let me go and find where the thing is. Maybe. Oh, come here. Maybe. I don't want to, like, break it. It's just $30, but still, I, I don't really want to break it. Oh, come on. There we go. As you can see, uh, take the back off. Uh, this is where you put SIM card is right here. And then your, uh, looks like micro SD card is uh, right there. So yeah, this $30 phone can uh, do stuff that a $1,000 phone can't. Which is, I guess, kind of nice. Oh, and it does have a headphone jack as well. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it of my review. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.